Hello, I've been having some trouble with the, what I believe is the coolant sensor in my car. And the symptoms are that the heat gauge on my um, dashboard goes down to um, zero, completely cold. And I've actually seen that happen while I'm driving. And then uh, when that happens, the uh, air conditioner stops blowing cold air. And I believe um, that's the computer. Um, telling the um, AC to shut off because it thinks the car is overheating and needs to put all of its resources toward cooling the engine. Um, however, that's quite inconvenient um, and it wouldn't bother me so much since I know that the car is not actually overheating, um, but it's obviously pretty annoying when it's 100 degrees out and the air stops working. So to do this, um, I'm going to replace the uh, coolant temperature sensor. This sensor is located on the back right side of the engine and we need to remove this plastic cover to replace it. The first thing we need to do to work on getting this cover removed is to unclamp the air intake over on the left hand side. Here's a closer shot so I'm just going to uh, loosen that screw so that I can pull the um, air intake back off the rest of the engine cover. Okay, I have the air intake loosened up. So the next thing I need to do uh, is take off this um, little hose uh, right there, which I can um, pull that clamp together with a Okay, um, so I just had to get the clamp back and then um, pull that straight back and off. Uh, the next um, one's going to be a little hard to film, but there's an additional um, clamp um, down under this main center part. Okay, um, so that screw in the upper left um, of the screen is what we need to loosen up next. So now, um, these things are really stuck in there, um, but I need to take the oil cap off. Um, but um, then I should just be able to um, kind of wiggle it back and forth and eventually get it out. After a lot of work, I was able to pull the cover off. All right. Plug my air intake and my oil. So now we have a good clear view of the engine. And what we're going for um, is actually way down on the back side. So let me find it here and then I'll show you on video. Okay, I have located it uh, on the back uh, right side of the engine. Um, you can see there's a little clip on it and then the actual um, sensor um, is, is down a little further. Um, so to give you some perspective of where this is on the engine, I'll try to pull back. Um, so it's almost directly underneath the um, coolant tank. And then as I said back there, on the right side of the engine. So now I'm gonna to try to get it out. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is get that little clip off. Okay. Just do it with my finger. Here is another shot um, showing it disconnected. So if you get the tab off and that connector is purple, you found the right thing. Okay, a bit of a different perspective on the camera here, uh, but I have the ratchet on and I've started loosening it, so I'm just gonna get it the rest of the way out here. And it looks like we are leaking a little bit of coolant, so it probably should have drained that. So lessons learned. And you wanna be careful not to over tighten these. Just snug it up. And it Pretty much stops when it's in. So 
So I'll just try to show the camera here. Um, this is what the old piece looked like. It has the end for the clip in there. And then that's the actual um, sensor piece. Okay, and this is the new piece um, in. You can see um, it's gold and shiny, unlike the rest of my engine, which is pretty dirty. And the clip is there right next to it. So you should just be able to plug that in. Now that the sensor's replaced, it's time to put the cover back on. I had to play around with the gasket on the air intake up here a little bit since that came off when I was removing everything. Um, but now I am, have the two clips in the back in place, put the oil cap back on, and then uh, we'll get this um, hose right here connected. So that one just pushes on and then grab the pliers. And finally, we need to get this um, hose connected, reconnected. And we can just snug that up. Okay, at this point, I think I have everything uh, put back together. I also want to disconnect the battery real quickly um, so that it resets the computer and the computer um, isn't still confused um, and thinks there's still an old sensor in there. So there's two clips, um, one right here and one further back. Very easy to take off. And then I'm just going to loosen up the negative. I'm going to add some antifreeze to make up for the amount that spilled out when I was changing the sensor. Okay, now for the moment of truth, let's see how I did. It starts, always a good sign. And my um, gauge is still at um, cold there, but we will uh, drive around for a little bit and see if it warms up. I've just been running my car in the driveway for a couple minutes, and you can see that the um, engine gauge has already warmed up to just below a quarter, uh, so I think that's very promising. No check engine light or anything like that on. So I'm going to drive around some today, and then if I don't experience any problems in probably the next two weeks, I will consider this fixed.